man with the plan. I still have lots of great things in my life, like a really amazing boyfriend, for starters. If you vote for me, I'll have a no-tax shopping day here at the mall. You have a right to buy a poncho and have money left for a calzone. Ready or not, here I come! Gotcha! <clears throat> what did Germany say to Italy first thing in the morning? You're up early! <laughs> Get it? On your mark. Get set, go! <laughs> what? Good. Huh? I don't want to lose my soulmate. Speechless, huh? Well, I think that means we found our cake! Hmm, priceless? <laughs> More like worthless! This stuff is bogus! Hope you're watching this, Einstein. Here goes nothing. Better not end up in the dark of you. Transport to 9.27 a.m. Love this filter. Jim Bod. Nice. How you doing? Now to post. Not connected to the internet. What? Not connected? Not connected? What is going on with her? She's supposed to be the sweet one. We heard that. Not cool, Mom. Oh, come on. Sorry, kids. <laughs> Love you. Hey, family. I'd like y'all to meet my main squeeze, Myrtle. Nice to meet you, Myrtle. Let me introduce everyone. Oh, no need. Welcome aboard, kiddos. Got your Morse code message. It said, Dud, Camp Mustard, close. Oh, yeah. I never was fluent in Morse. Oh, it's so good to see you, Dad. And when you're done scooping, you can start rubbing these bunions. Don't forget my extra toe! <laughs> go, go, go! What's wrong, sweetie? Are you hiding from someone? I'm hiding from everyone! Life jackets under the desks, you have them, yes? Well, actually... What's the UV rating on these windows? We assume you provide the students with sunblock. Oh, well, Mr. McBride, we... And what about chalk dust levels? Sorry, I popped by the kitchen to test out the oven. Anyone care for a lemon scone? Never. Boo Boo Bear! Babe! I can't wait to show you all the romantic stuff I have planned for our day together. I had no idea I was such a pest. An adorable one, but still. Sit, Charles. Now, shake. Now, play dead. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. Get the dot. Go get the dot. I'm trying, but it's going too fast. <laughs> Guys, guess what I found? Ooh, pretty earmuffs. Get me. They're not earmuffs. This is a dog. Gasp. Hops, you beautiful green warty genius. Up high, buddy. Lisa stole my best rat, Bitey. Who's Bitey? This is subject 57A. Ah! Cleo, TT, I need my sous chefs. <laughs> Time to bake away the blues. And based on the day I had, we're gonna need at least eight batches of focaccia. I'm desperate. I'd be happy to put my skills to use, Izzy. Don't take El Diablo's snack. I could really use an assistant. Hey, what about you? You're great with Gary. Hey, stop that. Stella said he's one bad bunny, but there are no bad bunnies. Who took the lasagna out of the oven? What the heck? Hey! Yeah. We're these fashionable yet technologically advanced socks. Ooh, what do these babies do? Ah, never mind. If they hide my bunions and hammer toes, that's a job well done. One cop 
salad. Hey, what's the dealio? I asked for extra bacon. Oh, sorry. My bad. Oh, this blue cheese smells whack. Spare us, Scoots. We know your sister Mopes isn't real. What are you looking loose staring at? I'll have... It's just, uh, um... Use your big boy voice, Tyler. Tell Spooky you want chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets, please! Uh, close enough. Thanks for doing oh. laps with me. Anything for my favorite Sunset Canyon board member. Loud, McBride, school time is meant for learning, not for doodling degenerate fantasies. This trash belongs to me now. <gasps> While I'm with Clyde, you guys gotta take care of my niece, Waffles. <laughs> If she tries to bite you, give her waffles. They calm her down. Okay, dance committee. Let's recap everyone's duties for the big Valentine shindig. Miss Chloe, how are those tunes coming? Great. I convinced my sister to DJ for us. This is her playing Sunset Canyon's winter formal. Look alive, troops. It's rope climbing time. Oh, what is it now, Loud? Bird flu? Charlie horse? Well, now that's quite a goose egg, Coach. Jeez, how'd you do that? Uh, well, uh, I, uh... Okay, class, we're at the halfway point of our energy reduction project. Let's see how you're doing. Great. Very good. Ooh, very impressive, Clyde. <laughs> Norm? Gracious me, what are you kids doing down here? I don't know what's going on with Jazzy. I've tried everything. My parents said I have the weekend to get him under control or else he has to go live in my aunt and uncle's house. They're pro wrestlers, so nothing bothers them. My parents will take at least that long. Stella? Mom, what are you doing here? Your dad just got kicked by an angry mama goat. Oh my gosh. We have to take him to urgent care. Sorry about your dad! Here, Lincoln, I assume you'll be working with Clyde. Why would you assume that? Because you have every day since kindergarten? Lincoln McCloud! Oh, I love those hats. It's like walking around with a couple baked taters. <laughs> Mom, Dad, just wanted to warn you. Mrs. J has been acting strange lately. Even alien-like. Rusty, you must know some beautiful ladies. Well, you know. Yeah, you're always bragging about what a ladies' man you are. Hello, Rusty. I'm very excited to meet this white-haired gentleman you told me about. Rusty, who is that? Uh, my piano teacher? Gasp. <sighs> oh. There I was, a young salesman fresh out of textile school, torn between my two loves, Rayon and, and polyester. <laughs> He tells us one a lot. No, oh, that's just a little country humor. But seriously, don't cross me again. You must be Liam's Meemaw. Oh, I've heard so much about you. Oh, likewise, Mrs. Johnson. Uh, and this is? Oh, Carol Ann. She's due any day now. Oh, she'll be fine. As long as she doesn't need anything spicy. See, we could do an assembly line and... Ah! Animal! No! What's the matter with the cookies? We have a lot to discuss, Principal Huggins. Ooh. Like all the money you've been spending on floor wax. Well, I, uh... Oh, good. The refreshments are here. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, Principal Ramirez. Didn't know you ate here. I'm Lincoln Loud, one of your new students, and my dad happens to own this restaurant. Complimentary potato skin. <gasps> Those are my favorites! Well, my second favorite, aside from... Jalapeno poppers? I did some research in case you came by. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm Mrs. Salter. Okay, so here's the lowdown. Juice bar in the back, help yourself. Also, there are cards on the desk with your names on them. Rip hardcore themed. I love the show. Dang it, Chandler, stop kicking! Oh, a talker, huh? Well, Mr. Blabberlips, you'll be spending your lunch with me. Coach Keck, you 
were chaperone at the dance last night and claimed to see Rusty throw the stink bomb. But, uh, weren't you across the gym? And, uh, ain't you severely nearsighted? You betcha that I saw the whole thing with these new specs. Looking good, Ernie. Love the new beaded seat. Three monkeys, four monkeys. For the love of Pythagoras, it's five. Lisa, you seem a little cranky. How about we all take a nap? Yay! Sorry, dude. Oh, hope I passed the audition. Oh, you did more than pass. You're gonna be headlining the Royal Rumble. All right, troublemakers, it's Glee Club time. Oh, oh wow. Wow, Cherry, indeed. There I was, choking on a beaver tail. Hey, Principal Marshall, is it cool if we use the rink after school? Gotta get in extra practice before the big game, eh? Yes, of course. Luan, thank goodness you're here. Someone has to stay with Mommy's little Hamlet. He cannot be left alone. He'll die of boredom. Also, he hasn't made number two today. Ah! Relax. That's just Mr. Wisniewski, the crossing guard. He likes jobs where he can be on his feet. Oh, thank you, sir. Let's see. Broken wall, cracked historical acorn statue, double door replacement. What do you got? Yeah, that's bad. Principal Rivers, you know what to do. <laughs> hey, this isn't so bad. <laughs> As a small child, I dipped my toe in the Dead Sea. It was rather refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> you were right, Lucy. The beach is fun. I wonder if any other normie things are, like stickers or the mall. Watch out! <laughs> My father accepted a job as a lifeguard on the SS Fun Times Party Cruise. Hi, Luna. Bring it in. Oops. <laughs> Let's try, try that. that. <laughs> I'm not sure what we're supposed to do here. Mm, put her there, partner. What is this place? The McBride's Entertainment Room. You can hang out here while Sam and I take care of the cats. How can she cancel the music club? Doesn't she know how much it means to us? There must be some mistake. <sighs> Wait, that's our drum! Lainey, how's that rink rash healing? I think mine's turning the corner. You're so cute as a chipmunk. Nuh uh. <laughs> you are. <laughs> One, two, three, go! Oh, 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 yeah! Oh, 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 yeah! <laughs> Perfect! Just like you. No, you are. Victory hug! Oh, oh you're almost there. Oh, right there. Just grab. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Elliot, I'll win you that stuffed triceratops if it's the last thing I do. Ugh. Wow, this is good. Can I have another? Even better. You can go out with me. Wait, what? Margo! Margo! Is this weird for you? What? Why? We're usually carrying you after a game. One fire in the belly burger with extra dragon sauce. You know, Lynn, you're the only customer who's been brave enough to order this. Iron gut, baby! Maybe you'd love an American wedgie! Uh, get it off! But the girl guru said... Get them, girls! <laughs> ah! I was just trying to impress you with my basic chemistry skills! You burnt my brains, you doofus! She was nervous because she's never kissed anyone before. Mr. Coconuts! What? Someone's gotta say it! Well, that's nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, Benjamin's never kissed anyone either. <gasps> Mrs. Apple Blossom! Oh, you weren't supposed to tell. <clears throat> Oops. Sorry, Emma. No worries, Clyde. <sighs> Hey, Molly, you want to go on a date with me? Um, yeah. Great. I'm going to need you to wear this. Ah, there's the hearse. We're going to a funeral. Mmm. Mmm, summer rain, spring daffodil. 
Wimple Legs. No, oh, not Petey Wimple. He eats paste. Mm, not Charlotte Yang. She's a biter. <gasps> Darcy Holmendaller. She'll do. Greetings, Darcy. I have observed that your sneakers light up. Though they appear to lack purpose, I would like to compliment you on their whimsy. Thanks, Lisa. I've always liked your shoes, too. Um, uh, Lori, uh, um, can I get a drink? Sure, Becky. As soon as I get a good grapevine out of you. <laughs> <laughs> a little finishing spray and voila! Dazzling and date ready. How much do you love it? I see that. Thanks, Miguel. You really are the master. Dog time! Come on, guys. We have to jump in. Such a classic senior moment. Last one in is a bogey butt. Lori, don't! The lake is so cold. You'll freeze your butt off. Hey, guys. How'd you get out before us? Oh, well, uh... We took the bailout door. That place was way too scary. Ow! Guess you guys made it all the way through. Wait, you're hanging out with those guys tonight? Well, yeah. Is that bad? It's fine. I mean, I can't remember the last time we spent a Friday night together, but it's fine. No, no, it's not fine. If I'm not making enough time for you guys, I need to fix that. I'll come over after I'm done at Fiona's house, okay? Sounds good. See you later. Well, I guess you're going back into the red. Which means you're gonna lose the polar bear challenge for our class. Which means we can't be seen with you. Which means your social life is out the window. Chad, my new sleepover pal! Get ready for the best five hours ever spent watching a dramatic search for a lost piece of jewelry. Thanks for coming, Artie. I want you to know you are my first choice for a sleepover. Hey, I'm conducting a practice funeral and I need a corpse. How do you feel about enclosed spaces? <laughs> that utility belt is rad. What booth did you get that at? Oh, actually, I made it. No way! The detail is amazing! Thanks! Hey, Dirk, why'd you get dumped? Uh, um, what? Was it because you walk like a penguin in those skinny jeans? <sighs> what do you think? We ditched the rug theme and went full mixed swagger. It took all night and most of the school's puddle repair budget, but worth it! Hey, Amelia, our action news viewers want to know what's in your locker? I've got a basketball hoop, a disco ball, <gasps> and a snow cone machine. Oh, milk chocolate. Bro, did mm -hmm. you hear that? More candy. Oh, there's no way I could eat more candy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being told we have breaking news. Please don't be one of my sisters. Tucker, I'm here at Flip's Food and Fuel, where two unknown bandits have just made off with a carload of beef jerky and a cotton candy machine. They're not unknown. They're my sisters. Patchy Drizzle here, taking on the weather myself, rolling up my sleeves, taking it on. I, uh, see you got a copy of my book there. Would you like me to sign it? I'll just take that. That's right. I've heard a lot about this place and wanted to feature it on Kitchen Ambush. Now? It's called Kitchen Ambush, not kitchen whenever it's convenient for you. Use the hat, Fern. <laughs> You're the only one who still has one on and we're so close to a win. Wait, were you talking to me? Yeah, we've been calling you the penguin in the locker room. I've never seen anyone move like that on the ice. And I would know, I'm... Rowdy McQuad, the Michigan maniac! Yo, Chunk! Right on time, dude! I slept in your driveway, so I wouldn't be late. Whoa, that's hardcore, bro. The name's Mick Swagger, mate. And you are great, too. I love that passion on the cowbell. Congratulations. I gotta say, I'm impressed. You're the only team who built their own car. In fact, I'd love to take it for a spin. Uh, of course, Bobby! On this special episode of ARG, we're going to be hunting for the ghost of groundskeeper Jim. Locals say you can still hear him some nights dragging his shovel around the empty house. Hello? Hello? Are you here now, groundskeeper Jim? Oh, not a problem. I've got the whole top floor. Let me introduce myself. 
I'm Jerry Kling, the Cherry King. <gasps> what? I, I cook with your cherries all the time. Oh, hi there. Lynn Loud Sr., I am so glad to meet- Timothy McColl, but call me Tim, because Timothy takes more time to say, and time is the one thing I don't have. Now, let's see what you got for me. Excuse me, I think you might be in the wrong theater. The auditions for So You Think You Can Headbang are down the street. No, dudes. I'm here for America's Next Hit Maker. I'm Luna Loud, one of the finalists. Ooh, girl, if I could. Ooh, girl, give me <laughs> yeah, I love you. Who <laughs> goes the cow? I goes the pig. Watch me do me Irish jig. Come on, guys. Crowd surf! <laughs> <laughs> Game over, Ace Savvy and One-Eyed Jack. Think again, Wild Card Willie. I've got a few more cards up my sleeve. I love the ending, especially when we learn Wild Card was a lonely kid. I read a lot of entries with great action sequences, but none with this kind of heart. The Loud family would like to report 260 books read. Very impressive. The next highest family total is only 23, and the contest ends at 5. We were already cranked up to 11, but guess what's gonna happen now? <gasps> we're turning it up to 12! We already told you guys, we don't care about beating you. We're just here to... Whoops! Where'd your hat go? Huh? <laughs> Lost your hat there, fella! Hey, hey, give that back! Nice game, Loud. I don't know what I'm gonna do next year after you graduate. You have been the heart and soul of this team for four years. This is Coach Niblick from Fairway University. Uh, <laughs> I think that means she's excited to meet you. Right back at you, Laurie. Say, here's a little something from Fairway. It's so nice to finally be able to relax. <laughs> yeah! Hi, I'm Maddie, your personal caddy. Now let me see her. Yeah, that's a much better angle. Now, I'd go with this teddy bear. Go home and spend time with your family, Lori. It's the weekend. <gasps> You're right. That's literally a great idea. This is my last clean plate. Sir, please give our dad his job back. This was all a misunderstanding. What is there to misunderstanding? First, I get the rudest call of my life. Then I have no one to help with the breakfast rush. Hey, everybody. I'm really sorry, but it looks like we'll have to just... As mayor of Royal Woods, it is my pleasure to welcome all of you to this year's Astonishing Quest! All right, first things first, if anyone runs against you, we dig up some grade-A dirt on them. It worked like a charm the last election. All done, Mrs. Parker! I also do furniture moving and jar opening. Keep it in mind. Oh, it's my lucky day. At your service, ma'am. What's the trouble? Your microwave is broken, leaving me as cold as my burrito. Okay, Taryn, the pain will go away in a few days. In the meantime, here's a lollipop. Good morning, Rita. Good morning, Dr. Feinstein. You remember my son, Lincoln? Sure I do. Let's see how those permanent teeth are coming in. Open. Mm hmm. Ooh, I know I'm gonna get in trouble, but... Hold, Hold it right, right there. there! Gabby, you already have a closet full of scarves. <clears throat> uh, Lenny? Hi, Mrs. Carmichael! How's the monthly inventory going? Not great. Several scarves have gone missing. Can you come with me? Are we going on a scavenger hunt? So here's my hideout. Wait! Let me just put in the password. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Open the trunk. What? Why? I I'm not doing that. I think you better. Okay, you caught me. <sighs> Mrs. Carmichael, I think you'll find this bag contains at least one blue dress, huh? Yep, I bought this at Stater's after my shift. Whoa, is that the limited edition Christmas issue with the variant cover? Deck the halls? I've been looking for that forever. Me too. It's, it's the, the only, only copy. copy. Give it, it's mine. <laughs> oh, mama, how do? I Shh. I'm Lincoln. So, what do you guys want to do? Play with my science kit! Play with my dress of sticker books! Eh. Sounds lame -o. So, gang, what should we do tonight? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Thank you! How nice! Though we really 
really don't do dairy. It makes our kids sluggish, but we could share it with the needy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of our kids. Hey, Mom and Dad, can I borrow the car tonight? I have debate practice and then my computer coding class. Of course, Beatrix. I got first place in the state math bowl. Great work, Bumper Jr. I got the internship at the UN. That's fantastic, Belle. Will you guys take me to my gallery opening tonight? Of course, Bo. Go mawa, yo. Both elevators out. I'm on it. Oof. Oh, excuse us. Welcome. Uh, just the two bags? Yep. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Everything in the van, good sir. Girls, getting fast food is not usually part of the test drive. Duh, we gotta test the cup holders. And we got you a double bacon cheeseburger. Oh! I'm vegan, but what the heck? Oh, I never let my family in Sofia. Gotta protect her fine Italian leather. Isn't that right, bellissima? So, how old is the birthday girl? Four? Five? Thirteen. Hey, guys, who's ready to laugh? Whoopsie doodle! Now who put this here? Um, you did, obviously. We're still on for later, right? I wouldn't miss it for the world. I don't see Pumpkin Eater anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I see why you said goo. It's all over your hand. See you tomorrow, Roberto. Ciao, Bella. Hurry up with those Kung Pao anchovies. Well, at least all that working out won't go to waste. Yeah. Uh, uh. Say hello to Todd. He's fluent in over 600 languages. Hola, bonjour, guten tag, goodbye. And this here is our pool room. Love that chlorine smell. Yeah. Bernie, how often do you test the bacteria levels in the pool? Claire, I'm looking for my dog. He slipped out of his collar and... Water, son! There you are. I missed you. Oh. Hello, Mrs. Lee, is it? I believe your son Wyatt attends my school. How would he like a little extra recess? Maybe a get-out-of-gym pass. What is this malarkey? We're in the boot scooting finals, so we gotta practice. Well, can you at least turn the music down? What? You want to turn the boogie down? Why, sure, Rumi, get on in here. <laughs> oh, hello, cute little caterpillar family. <laughs> <laughs> it's OK, sir. There's been a misunderstanding. You don't need to kill the spider. Huh. What are you, a spider hugger? Nobody stops me from getting my spider. Okay, kids, if Sadie hits 160 gram puck with 4,200 pounds of force, how much time does Lincoln have to raise his glove to block the goal? Two microseconds! <laughs> oh, hey, dudes, those are actually our seats. <clears throat> we saw them first, bud. Um, okay, well, seats are assigned, and those are legitimately ours. Oh, hey there, louds. I was about to see how many marshmallows I could fit into my mouth. Watch. <laughs> Say there, I like your limo. How did you obtain it? Uh, mustard. Oh, you must be the heir to the mustard fortune. What's your name? Lincoln Loud, but I'm not the... I'm Lord Tetherby, heir to the tetherball fortune. <laughs> Mom, what do you think you're doing, sixth grader? Having a little pulp free OJ. Or should I say, oh, yay? <laughs> oh, yeah! Hit him with that trilogy! <sighs> no, he meant, why are you sitting in our seat? Oh, Midge, how much for the half eaten cheese? It'd make a great centerpiece. Oh, uh, gosh, well, I don't know. Uh, can I get a price check on the uh, dumpster cheese? Ooh, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream! Well, hello, sweetie. Congrats on winning the Royal Woods Recycling Challenge. Your prize is one of my world-famous Auntie Pam's Slams. All 50 flavors with every topping you could ever dream of. Mmm, like those loves. Hey, get back here! Yeah! Korean for the win! So, did you not see the sign? 
You know, the one right above that says no loitering? Oh, <laughs> I thought it said no littering. My bad. Hello? Read aloud. Jesse Hiller from the Royal Woods Gazette. Here's the headline. I think you're a perfect candidate for the columnist job. Let's do this! Well, it's a beautiful day at the park, isn't it, Pep? Oh, sure it is. It's the bottom of the ninth with the Royal Woods Squirrels up 3 nothing. I finally got up the nerve to ask Tammy Gobblesworth to the dance. Hi, I'm picking up a to-go order, Katie Crest. Guys, she's the biggest manager in the music biz. Uh, if I could just have you initial here, we will be on our way. <laughs> now, please come with me. <laughs> Tracky! Bad! No, no, not you, Dennis. Lisa! What have you been feeding him? His name is Trashy. What do you think, genius? <laughs> Their pod will terminate you. <laughs> Are you beast? Miss Allegra! <laughs> Who's a cranky Saurus? You can put your shirt back on now, Brandon. One spaghetti pizza for my favorite customers. Mm. I only make this for my most regular regulars. Welcome, Space Cadets! My name's Taryn, and I'll be your camp counselor. Ready for your first activity? Since you're my assistant, you should wear the hat. <laughs> Good morning, sir. I'm Kirby, your personal chauffeur for the day. Isn't it exciting to be competing in the big leagues? <laughs> well, not as exciting as nationals last year, but it could be fun. Hi, I'm China, with two H's. She holds the record for the most titles won before age seven. Oh, that's nothing! Jackie here does toothpaste commercials. And my name is Claudette. Whoa! Are those sequins French crystal? We oui, all of my gowns are made in Paris. Cricket Fairy Doran! A pageant legend! <sighs> she is so international! Crickets won every crown on every continent, including Little Miss Ice Flow in Antarctica! Hey, Penelope. Hey, Clyde. I promise to be the best egg dad I can. If you're ever in Brazil, look me up, Clyde. Ciao, ciao. Tiago, you're gonna miss your plane. Bye, Clyde. Bye. Abigail, have you met Melly? I think you guys both like those doggy investigator books. Have you read the one where he busts the chinchilla? So good. Oh. Whoops, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Mmm, something smells good in here. <laughs> well, well, if it isn't Lana Loud in her natural habitat. Oh, hi, Lacey. I didn't know you had a dog. <sighs> Victoire isn't just a dog. She's a purebred Maltese from a long line of champions. Ah, nice to meet you, Vicky. Hey, Charles, come say hi. <laughs> <gasps> Victoire, stay away from that classless mutt! Hey, don't talk about my Charles like that! I was talking about you. But your dog's no prize either. <gasps> Funny how pets resemble their owners, no? 